What's up, y'all? Today is Monday, the 26th. It's been three days since I've had my hip replacement surgery. That was on Friday. I reported at 6.15 a.m. on Friday, and I was home by like 1.30 p.m. that afternoon. Fucking crazy that they shoved this big old piece of metal down my leg and popped my hips back onto the ball of that piece of metal and sent me home. I was walking before I left the facility. They had me go up some, down some steps. It's crazy. It's crazy. I've been walking around the house. I'm getting tired of walking in circles around the house, but wow. Um, I finally put on clothes today. I had on a t-shirt dress because I figured that would be the easiest to maneuver after surgery. And I came home with no underwear <clears throat> because I was afraid my underwear would fall to my ankles when I got up from the toilet and I wouldn't be able to pull them up. So for two days, I didn't have any underwear on with a dress. And that was all. Well, I had on a sports bra. I finally put on underwear yesterday because I have this, I bought what's called a hip kit. It has a couple of extender thingies, you know, grippy thingies. You can pick up stuff. Um, it's got a, a hook thingy that's probably three feet long. They help you get dressed. Um, it's got um, a really long shoehorn to put shoes on. I haven't put shoes on yet because I haven't gone outside, so I don't need shoes. Um, it's got this wonderful contraption to help you get your leg, because you have to kind of keep your legs straight, stiff, and you don't want to use your leg muscles to lift, excuse me, your leg. So it helps you lift your leg and get it into bed. That's been like probably the best. Um, so that's how I got my panties on yesterday, was with the little hook thingy to get dressed with. I was so excited. I saw it on the dress, but I have panties. I was so excited to have on panties. Oh my God. You just don't know. So today, and I've been doing uh, baby wipe cleanups because I can't shower yet because I've still got this big ass bandage on my leg. Um, so today I got up, did a real good baby wipe cleanup all over what my mama call a whore bath. I put on panties, I put on some shorts, I put on a regular bra, which it, but that doesn't, that's not a challenge. The upper part, you know, putting on isn't a problem. And then, and then a t-shirt, so I have on actual clothes today. <sighs> so I put a little makeup on just to feel um, normal, human, and kind of with it. I'm pretty excited. I'm getting around really well. So when I got up yesterday morning, which was Sunday, the pain block had worn off. <laughs> My muscles are really sore because what they do is they take all those, you know, because there's a bunch of different muscles in the front of your thigh and they just take them and they pull them apart and they clip them back to get to the bone and, and, and the joint. So they're really sore and swollen from all of that maneuvering. Plus the incision burns like a bitch. Um, for a, for a moment, and then it's okay once it gets once it gets stretched back out. Um, so, but today when I got up, not. I mean the pain's still there, but it wasn't like yesterday. Yesterday I was like, "What is happening?" Because it hadn't bothered me like that before, but the pain block wore off. So I, I kept up with my meds yesterday. Um, the problem with that is. Percocet and Norco, they gave me Percocet, but Percocet and Norco both make me itch really bad. Um, it's not an allergy, it's a reaction. So I take Benadryl. So between the actual pain med and the Benadryl, I'm like in a no zone, dozing, sleeping, not with it for a while. So I'm trying not to take the Benadryl until the itching gets too bad. Speaking of pain meds, I should probably take some right now. I haven't had any since probably 2 o'clock this morning. And it's, I don't know, 10-ish something. I don't know. Anyway, so this is day three post-surgery. Well, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Friday, I mean, I was home by 1.30, so that's, and I mean, oh, because I chose to do the the pain block in the leg, they only gave me propofol to put me to sleep. So I wasn't out so hard. And it was, I wasn't groggy when I woke up at all. 
because as opposed, they gave me a choice, and I could have done general anesthesia with no pain block, but then it would have taken me longer to come out of it. Um, I would have been groggy. I probably would have been bleh, for a while. So I'm glad I went the route that I did. Um, but things are going great so far. I'm expecting a call from the doctor's office today. I think I'll be able to take this bandage off and there's a, a bandage underneath that I will keep on for like two weeks and you know that clear waterproof bandage they put on I think that's there and I can still shower with it um, but I'm not sure I gotta wait till they call to confirm so hopefully I can actually take a shower uh, probably tomorrow since I'm already dressed for today I'll probably take a shower tomorrow but y'all it's fucking crazy y'all need to ant to watch the animation of this surgery just to see how crazy it is that they send you home the same damn day. So peace out, y'all. I appreciate everybody sending me well wishes, checking up on me, uh, the cards, the, the treats, and everything. I appreciate it so much. Y'all are awesome. I especially pre appreciate my hair goddess Rachel coming over and wrangling around in my room to get my room under control because it was way out of control and now I can move around with this walker and it feels so much more zen in my room now which is awesome peace out y'all